Typhoon Mawar is still remaining a powerful Category 3 as it is beginning to curve away from any major land areas. Mawar currently has winds of 120 miles per hour and a pressure of 949 millibars based by our analysis and it is moving northwest at 7 miles per hour. Here is Mawar's current location at 19 degrees south, 126.2 degrees east, uh, about 300, 400 kilometers east of the Philippines. I don't know exactly how much that is in miles, uh, somewhere around 300 or something. Here's our current track forecast uh, for Mawar. Um, yeah, I had a little uh, grammar error up here. Uh, that super should not be there anymore. Mawari ain't that strong anymore. But, uh, here we go. We are expecting it, well, right now it's 12 a.m. Uh, so in 12 hours, so 12 p.m., we're expecting it to be down to category two. Um, and then it'll just, you know, gradually weaken and then it'll start weakening faster. Uh, as it, you know, curves away from Taiwan into much colder waters. Here's Mawar's current wind field. I'm not joking. That is its current wind field. Uh, it's very strange, I know. Uh, it's also very large. I should point that out. It's very large. Uh, anyway, we are going to move on to the GFS now. Alright, so here we are on the GFS. <clears throat> you can see Mawar right there. Uh, the GFS actually has a reasonable pressure. The other day they were going with 871 millibars. Um, but now they're going with 942, which is much more reasonable. Um, and then as it goes on, it just gradually weakens, I guess. It's kind of not even weakening, it's just mostly just sitting there. And then, you know, it really starts to weaken and then it just becomes an extra tropical cyclone as it flies by Japan. So that that's very interesting. So here is the satellite. You can see Mawar's eye actually has been clearing out war within the last 12 hours, which uh, is uh, very, very, very interesting to say the least because usually when the eye is clearing out, uh, that means it's getting stronger. It's not expected to get stronger. Uh, if that was the case, then that would be the third time. Yeah, first time it strengthened, and then it went down, and then it went all the way up to 185. Uh, we don't talk about those days, though. But, yeah. So the eye is clearing out, which means it, 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 it might be about to start re-strengthening again. Which, if that's the case, I, I don't even know what to say. This storm's already been going for how long? 13 days. The storm's already been going for 13 days, almost two weeks. And it's about to start restrengthening again. Mawar has been overwhelming to track, I will tell you that. Uh, but uh, here, real quick, uh, the, the cloud tops are degrading. It, you see, it's very strange. The eye is clearing out, which usually means intensification. Yet the cloud tops, the maximum cloud tops, are going down. So, I don't know, Mawar has been very unpredictable. Because, you know, originally they wanted it to go up to, like, Cat 2. Then after it started rapidly intensifying, they wanted it to go up to Cat 3, and then Cat 4, and then it skyrocketed up to 175. Um, and then it went down to, like, 130. And then they were like, okay, it might get back up to, like, 155, and then it shot up to 185. Um... Uh, I remember that the, there were some people in that Force 13 chat wh where they were covering it the other day. There were some people saying like 200 miles an hour on it, and uh, I was—I I didn't comment this, but I was, I was thinking in my head, Mawar strong, but not that strong, you know. It, it ain't 200 miles an hour yet, and it never did reach 200, thankfully. Yeah, our analysis team is something else. I will tell you that they went with 195 miles an hour. I need to have a talk with my analysis team. So, anyway. 
Um, but yeah, so so Moir's been very unpredictable. They have been getting the track forecast very accurate. They haven't been able to nail the intensification though. Um, I'll, I'll repeat again. Originally, when it first formed, they wanted to go up to Cat 2, and as it started strengthening, that started going up. And they were like, okay, it might reach like 130, which is Cat 4, uh, as it passed by Guam. Then it shot up to 175, and then weakened to 140 when it went down by Guam. Then weakened to 130 due to Guam. They're like, okay, it might get back up to like 150, 160, shot up to 185. Uh, then it, you know, kind of stalled out in, in intensity. And they were like, you know, okay, weakening is going to be pretty gradual, and weakening actually has been pretty fast. Uh, at this time yesterday, I think Moir actually was, let's see, 12 a.m. Um, well, you know, it's the 29th now. So we'll go with like, you know, uh, I mean, it was at 150 miles an hour. No, not even 150. It, yeah, it, it was at 150 miles an hour at this time yesterday, and it's already dropped 30 miles an hour. And then before that, um, you know, it, it, when it was 150 miles an hour, um, you know, I mean, like, and then, you know, it, I mean, Moir is very strange because, you know, it'll have periods where, you know, it'll intensify really fast and then it'll start weakening. And then it'll, and then it'll start strengthening. Then it'll start weakening very slowly. It's been interesting. It's dropped 30 miles an hour in the last 24 hours, but in the 24 hours before 24 hours, so in between the last one to two days, it only dropped five miles an hour from midnight on the 27th to midnight on the 28th. It only dropped five miles an hour. I mean, if you look at Mawar's satellite at its peak, Mawar was priceless. Uh, remember, uh, we made a video just after Mawar's peak. Uh, our peak estimate, if you don't know, is uh, 185 miles an hour and a pressure of 897 millibars. Mawar is strange. I've never seen a storm form that far south and get this strong. So I'm probably high am. But... Yeah, we we don't go that far. High end, high end was definitely stronger, definitely worse than this. Uh, <laughs> by a lot too. High end was like 20 miles an hour stronger and like 20 millibars stronger. That's saying something. Mars 185 and 897. That's saying something. Uh, but Moir is very impressive. This is the strongest storm since Goni in 2020, I think. I mean, Surrogate in 2021, uh, it, it, it's definitely the strongest since Surrogate. It was stronger than Surrogate is the thing, though. By DRHT, well, not by DRHT, uh, actually, yeah, by DRHT, because our estimate for Surrogate, I think, is like 902 or something. Somewhere around that. It's somewhere like 898 to 902. It's somewhere around there. I don't know. It's 12 a.m. I'm cooked. Anyway. Um. Thing is, though, people are saying it's the strongest since Surrogate. Thing is, it was stronger than Surrogate. By DRHC analysis. So then you go back to 2020, and then you got Goni. Quite frankly, I don't think anything's beating Goni for a while. Because, uh, Goni, by our analysis, was 200 miles an hour, 875 millibars. So I don't think anything's beating Goni for a while. Anyway, this video's kind of getting too long. Anyway. Like subscribe for my mental health it's 12:32 a.m. anyway like subscribe goodbye